Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and in this video I want to shed some light on what it means to focus an input field. So for those of you who don't know, essentially focusing an input field looks like this. If I was to click inside this username field, this field is now focused. I can start typing inside it. We can see the text cursor or prompt is flashing and the outline changes. So now this field is focused, this field is not. So um, the opposite of this is known as blur. So right now both these fields are unfocused and in other words they have been blurred. Okay, so I think the aspect or the concept, sorry, of focus is very important when it comes to web development in general. So here we have this video um, covering various aspects of how to actually interact with um, I guess the feature of focus using HTML, JavaScript and CSS. So we're going to cover all these four things inside this video. So um, let's begin with the autofocus attribute. Okay, so essentially this one allows you to automatically bring focus to an input field when a page or when the page loads up. Okay, so right now if I was to refresh this page we can see that none of these input fields are focused. Okay, so I can go inside the HTML and then I can go inside, um, for example, the the username input field, and I can add the autofocus attribute just like that. I can now save this and refresh the browser, and now we can see that the field has been focused automatically when the page loads up. So this right here, I think, is pretty much um, essential for any sort of login form because then your user can conveniently um, start typing in the username straight away without any other form of interaction. Okay, so that right there is the autofocus attribute in HTML. We can now move on to the focus method which is found in JavaScript and this one right here um, allows you to manually force um, focus on a particular input field using JavaScript. So, um, for example here, uh, to demonstrate, I'm going to wait until the page um, loads up again and then after three seconds I want to bring focus to um, the password field. Okay, so let's go inside the uh, the text editor and remove the autofocus attribute from the username field and go inside the JavaScript and first um, we need a reference to the password field itself because you're going to call the focus method or function on the actual field itself. So let's make a new constant, call this one imp password equal to document.getElementById I'm going to pass inside here um, yt underscore password to of course match the ID on the um, on the password field. I might just change this to type password. Okay, cool. So 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 now we have the IMP password reference in JavaScript. Um, we can simply use um, a set timeout here and say after three seconds. So I'll just put a function inside here. So I'm just going to say after after three seconds, we're going to say imp password dot focus. Okay, so it's simple as that. Um, I can now save this and then refresh the browser and then wait three seconds, and we can see here that the password field now has focus. So um, you can, of course, maybe do things such as have different panels on your website. Um, you know, when you open a new panel, maybe an input field inside there. Um, becomes focus automatically. So um, that is the focus method uh, with JavaScript. We also have the focus event. So essentially this means you're able to react to when your user brings focus to um, an, uh, an input field. Okay, so let's go back inside here and take a look at that. So we're going to use the IMP password field once again. We'll just remove the set timeout from down here. And we're going to say imp password .add event listener. I'm going to put focus inside here, and then for the callback function um, or the um, the listener function, we're going to simply say console.log uh, password field has focus. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Um, now, if I was to save this and refresh and click on the password field, we can see here it says password has focused inside the developer console. Okay, so um, that is the focus even in JavaScript. I'm not sure why you'd want to use this, um, but of course 
Um, maybe you want to display some text um, once the user you know clicks on a field, such as you know the requirements of the field or any sort of hint about the field itself. Okay, cool. So now we have the focus pseudo class, which is found in CSS, and of course this is about styling your input fields. So I've actually got one um, happening right now on these fields, but to demonstrate, let's go inside the um, the style tag of this document, which I'll now create. So let's make some CSS rules, um, and I'm just going to say here um, for each input field. So I'll say. Um, I'll just actually target the form class, so this form right here, and say form, and then input. For each input, um, you know what? I've got to add the focus pseudo class, the most important part about this um, this segment, I guess. So here we're saying um, when a input field inside the form has focus. Okay, so that's the pseudo class right there. We're going to change things about it. So, for example, let's just say we can say uh, background and then red. Okay, so pretty clear and straightforward example. I can now save this and refresh the browser, click on this input field, and it turns red. Okay, so of course you can add your own custom styling to input fields when they're being focused. All right, and that right there is the aspect, or sorry, again, once again, the concept of focusing input elements. Um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.